Sean Connery died. The great Sean Connery. Yeah, my favorite James Bond of all time. Yeah, and he was getting a proper send off for about eight minutes on Twitter. And then the first hairy legged white chick shows up, right? And she's just gotta be like, yeah, yeah. Are we really gonna celebrate this man who advocated the hitting of women? It's like, first of all, he didn't advocate hitting women, okay? He just said, you know, every once in a while, you give him a little slap. <laughs> yeah, give him a little back of the hand, you remind him who's making the box office, you reset their hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he said, okay? Yes, it's a crazy statement in 2021. 1976, you know, it's not good, but it's not crazy, right? And he's born in 1930. You gotta put the shit in historical perspective. You ever watch, I love old movies. You ever watch movies from the 30s, 40s, and 50s? Yeah. Anytime a woman even has heightened emotion, there's some guy like, ah, get a hold of yourself, babe. Yeah, go make me a pie, put it on the windowsill. Right? That's what he grew up watching. I grew up in the 70s. I thought being a truck driver was a cool thing. You know, you had a monkey for a friend. You're going around, chicks are showing their titties. I thought that that was the world. I had no idea. That's what I was watching. My thing is, is okay, so if you're gonna cancel all of these fucking dead guys, and you're gonna shit all over them after they're dead and they can't defend themselves, wh why are you only going after men? You know, what about all the horrible women in history? You can't just go after the men, that would be sexist. And this is what they don't want. You know, I mean, what about Coco Chanel? Great example. Coco Chanel, widely considered a feminist icon. She started her own purse factory, right? In the 19 teens or 20s, whatever the hell she did. I can't imagine the sexism that she had to, she had to deal with, you know? An amazing accomplish, accomplishment, hats off to her, right? However, <laughs> she was also a Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> yeah, that's like half her fucking Wikipedia page. Just sitting there, waiting for someone to read it. <laughs> right out in the open, nothing. So evidently what happened was, in World War II, old Adolf came rolling into town, okay, with his tanks with the Porsche engines in them, took over the town in like fucking 90 minutes, she freaked out, she closes up her shop, right? Figured out where all the head Nazis were staying, what hotel, she moved in there and she started a relationship with one of the Nazis. Yeah, she started fucking a Nazi. <laughs> you ever see those Holocaust videos? Huh, with those piles of kid shoes? Yeah, she was sucking the dick that did that. Now, just to refresh my memory, what did Sean Connery do again? <laughs> oh, you know, every, every once in a while, you give him a little slap. That's what he did. She's sitting there like, hey, Adolf, what's going on? Ah, ah. <laughs> she so sold out her own country, she had to flee it at the end of the war, and I have no idea how many dicks she had to suck to get back in it. But I'll tell you, despite all of that, I still don't judge her. I know, because I've never been in that situation. You know, I've never been in a country where all of a sudden the, the most powerful army the world has ever seen comes in and takes it over in a couple hours. She must have been terrified, right? And she's a woman, you know, she's into fashion, they show up with those Hugo Boss uniforms. You know, her knees buckle a little bit. <laughs> Things start getting ugly. People are getting shot in the street. She's freaking out, you know. And she's a woman. And women know push comes to shove. When you get your back against the wall, no matter how bad it gets, they always have the option of fucking their way out of a situation. <laughs> they always got that card they can play. Right? All 
women know this. Women, I, all women know this. Men don't realize this till they go to prison. But women learn this early on. <laughs> she had the option and she took it. I can't get mad at her for that, you know? So she's dead and gone. I think she's up there in heaven. I think she made it. She's up there with Sean Connery. Every once in a while they have a disagreement. He gets a little slap, you know? She doesn't care. Once you shit on a Nazi's chest, I mean, a little backhand's not going to freak you out. Jesus can't say anything. He got a hooker, right? Everybody's got a little something they did. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. So, still buy your Coco Chanel. She's still a hero. She was a victim. She was a victim of that time. She was frightened. She was scared. She didn't know what to do. Um, anyway. <laughs>